Hello everyone, welcome to the Phoenix Syndicate. I'm Lycan and thank you for joining me today. Now, in the same vein that when someone says, don't look down, what's the first thing that you do? You look down. In that vein, don't hit the red subscribe button. Did it work? Did you hit the red subscribe button? No? Darn. Well, can't blame a guy for trying, right? Uh, no, but in all honesty, if you'd hit that red subscribe button, the notifications button, and that like button, it would help me out a lot and would appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Today, we are going to one of my main character incinerator's bases, Command Center. And uh, this was actually the uh, Back to Basics base off... Uh, entry that I did. <clears throat> uh, this uh, back to basics base off was uh, had a size limit of 200 items placed. It couldn't be one of the smaller ones like dive, volcano, or the uh, space base. And uh, you know we weren't supposed to be clipping either. Yeah I didn't listen to the last one. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. As you can see, I have 207 items. Uh, that was acceptable because Chico was not accounting, was not counting armories or any amenities placed as going against that 200 item cap. And yeah, I have seven amenities. Yeah, I had to double check that. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. But the actual name of this base would be Command Center Bar and Grill. Unfortunately, you know, you can't really put Bar and Grill anywhere on there. And we're just going to go right in here. Maybe. Okay, are you not going to work? Okay. For some reason, sometimes I can walk through this and sometimes I can't. Anyway, the idea was that this little bathroom here would be in a refurbished uh, elevator car uh, so you would actually go into the elevator to use facilities of course it'd be you know done safely to where it's not gonna move or anything of course but and as you can see clipping items are on top of each other so on and so forth that toilets crooked <clears throat> Things you don't notice until you're actually looking right at it. And uh, when I put this base together originally, because, yeah, it, it, most of this base was already made before the contest came out. Um, I had been looking for other walls, and I actually just kind of liked how this one looked originally. But sometimes I can walk through and sometimes I can't. I, I don't get it. Unless it's just a weird glitch in the game and you're not supposed to, but wouldn't surprise me there either. And yes, she's right, this is the best seat of the house, of course, as far as bar goes, because you get your own little private uh, viewing area. Uh, ideally, you would have, you know, headsets you could put on to pay more attention to the TV than, say, the group of people behind you chatting up. And I use these uh, bottled cities. I, I really don't remember the exact name of the base item. I believe this is the desert city though. If I'm remembering correctly this would be the desert one. But I use those uh, kind of as light fixtures almost for the pool tables. I don't know why, it just seemed like the thing to do. And of course, the bar. Also, originally when I made the base, I was a part of the Phoenix Syndicate, uh, for which the channel is obviously named after. 
and, and yes, I, I do enjoy utilizing the stainless steel cabinets with cool stuff behind them. It, it's just a fun little thing to do. But I, I figured, you know, for those in the leadership, we'd all want a nice little place to kick back and relax. And then it, it just, it kind of exploded from there. Because we are now leaving the bar, which is pretty much just a normal standard bar you'd find anywhere in Goth it, Gotham or Metropolis. And I, I want to say this one's in, in Metropolis, believe it or not. As you can see, the no clipping thing did not work too well at all. But again, this was all made prior to the base. Uh, base off. And then, uh, got a little work area. Uh, of course, complete with a little reading area with the bar. Now, in my case, I don't drink anymore I have a little bit of an alcohol problem so for me it's all sodas but you know not everyone has the same issues I do so there you go I wish I would have had more of these uh, the Olympic ones walls whatever they were called a uh, sneak peek of the dance floor downstairs darn I, I just they were kind of hard to come by at the time, and I haven't really tried to get them since. But if I ever do, they're going to replace the dark stone walls over here. No, the base isn't entirely finished yet, and I don't know why my camera angle keeps moving like that. I'm not touching the joystick. <clears throat> Apologies for that. Apparently my controller has other ideas today. <coughs> The base is obviously not done, but for the Back to Basics Base Off competition, it was a great entry. <coughs> Even if I did flush a few, flesh a few extra things out um, prior to the end. And yes, again, clipping, clipping everywhere. All this was made prior to Base Off. <laughs> And this is, uh, well, th this would be my room, obviously. Or my little apartment, I guess you could call it, with the exception of, obviously, there's no kitchen, but there's one downstairs. I've just noticed I don't have a bathroom up here. Oh, yes, I do. Bathroom is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the Gotham Standard. I haven't put in anything else. Maybe I'll utilize the Atlantean standard. Okay. Now, in this case, this was a fun little combination to come up with. I don't happen to recall the name of the uh, wood-looking cabinets that the uh, aquarium, is, aquarium is actually in. And don't mind my cat. He's just yappy today. Well, you are. Shush. And then on the other side, of course, is the stainless steel cabinets that you see in pretty much every single one of my bases. <laughs> I like the stainless steel cabinets. I do. I think they're very simple yet functional design. They look great. I mean, is that all opinion? Of course, but... And then, of course, you know, the cha my uh, changing area, complete with the poster. Now, see, when Ichigo was wa doing the walkthrough originally, she had the camera pretty much like it is now. But I can guarantee absolutely no one was looking at Killer Croc or anyone else. They were looking at Giganta. Kind of the first thing that, you know, you, you, your eyes go right to Giganta. Come on, don't lie. You know they did. But yeah, this is one of my favorite posters 
actually. It's from the uh, summer event. And there is a large one for the league halls. I'm trying to remember which year it came out in, and I'm not having any luck. I'm sorry. Um, 2017, though, sounds close, maybe. Maybe 2018. I don't know. One or the other, I'm sure. You know, it's probably right on the item card, too. I should probably look sometime. Eventually, I'm going to get some other stuff to put on the walls. I'm just not sure what I want to put here yet. If that makes any sense. Um, go from maybe a couple more flower or, uh, you know, bannery looking things. Or sh go for more... Uh, you know, posters, like the, the, the metal uh, and the other comic book cover type posters. Not the world's biggest fan of the, uh, 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 of the comic book cover posters. Kind of would really like just to have the uh, artwork without the, you know, the barcode and all that other stuff. I mean, you can still have the, the artist's names on the thing and everything. <clears throat> wow, did I sound like I knew less what I was talking about than what I did right there? <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's, I'm doing great, what can I say? But overall, I do enjoy the, uh, the artwork. And I am a big Harley Quinn and Joker fan. So, of course, you know, I have to have the Harley Quinn Batman Day posters up. A and the Metropolis postcard is just because Command Center's in Metropolis. Actually, uh, it's, it's not too far from that uh, inner gang area. You know, by the, by the Superman statue. I'm sorry, Super Goof statue, what, whatever. Whatever you may prefer. <clears throat> and as I indicated, as the base concept grew, I needed more... I, I, I just needed more stuff to put in. <coughs> Ribbit. Well, sorry, apparently I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> uh, that and I had to yell at a cat real quick. I didn't want to deafen everyone with knock it the heck off, you know. But as the uh, base grew, so did the concept. So I decided to put in a dance floor to kind of, you know, it, show that maybe you could have like a, a, a prom or a reunion or something of that nature here. Hence the mic on the stage. Wish the mics would have been a little bit taller, but what can you do? Am I the only one that wants like band equipment, like like uh, like a drum set for back here, a couple of guitars on stands, maybe a saxophone, something. I would love something like that because I, I, I it would fit really well with the whole stage and I imagine you could come up with some pretty cool uh, different kind of combinations to put together uh, uh, your own stage you know say in, in the game your character likes to uh, belt out some tunes and you make a band or what have you well I just Sounded old. <laughs> of course, you have your DJ booth, uh, some snacks, and uh, ch -ch -ch the uh, white tablecloth table with the punch and everything, I believe, is from Valentine's Day event. 
and the table just behind my character there is uh, one of the spindrift tables. I want to say it was f from uh, uh, Deluge. And that's the uh, Celtic Rock Eagle, I believe is the name. It, it, it's a rock, it's an eagle, it, 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 it's from St. Patrick's Day, if anyone was wondering. Uh, the dance floor comprises mo uh, the, 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 the flashing parts of the floor are from Valentine's Day, for those who don't know. Uh, these are just black, luxurious rugs. You can pretty much get them anywhere, I think, unless it's one of the few base items that just aren't dropping. There seems to be a handful that aren't really dropping for anyone anymore. And of course down here we have another bar if your you know, reunion is uh, 21 and older. You know. Obviously the, the if it's the prom then no, you're not getting any booze. Go away. <laughs> another pool table and I don't remember which uh, I'm, I'm not really sure which bottled city that is offhand the idea behind this is you know the the, the light from the city would illuminate the table I just think it's a d different way to show off the various bottled cities. And uh, last but not least, we have a nice little relaxation center, complete with, you know, bank broker mailbox for those of us who continually mess with stuff like the broker. I'm horrible about that, I am. Uh, I'll spend an hour in the broker, come back in five minutes, spend another hour in the broker. I, I've done it before. I'll probably do it again. <laughs> but yeah, this was uh, the command center. Bar and grill, obviously. Bar and grill not being on the uh, name card. By my character, Incinerator, this was the back to basics base off entry of mine. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Also, uh, well, there, there's a little clip that I usually play at the end of the video. I'm just going to line it back right back up and play it again. It tells you how to, what, what, what to do to get on, the, uh, on a tour list. And I, I hope to hear from you in the future. So until the next video, everybody, take care of yourselves and uh, so long, everybody. Hey, everyone. If you're still looking for some DCO content, look in the description box below. I've got link to, links to other YouTubers who specialize in DCO content. Also, if you would like a video uh, made of, your ba of a base tour for you, Please let me know in the comments section and add like in nightmare. I will type that out in the description box as well. To your uh, base generator permissions. Would also be really cool if you granted me access to the amenities, but that's not a requirement, obviously, because I could just teleport out. Uh -huh. But thank you again. And a big shout out to the DCO Base Crafters community over there on Discord. You guys are always a huge help no matter what it is. So thank you and have a good one.